It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Doug's Brewery in Sweden. And it's a bottle of their Fudge Imperial Stout in a 330 milliliter bottle coming in at 10% ABV. Black bottle cap. Really, really excited to get into this one. I'm always a massive fan of Doug's. Uh, we used to have a fantastic sender from Sweden who used to send us loads of beers called Johan and he used to write me little letters or Facebook messages they were back in the day um, saying to me that oh, Doug's with this little small brewery and you'll love their beer and then all of a sudden I think they did a collaboration with Omnipolo um, or they started to produce Omnipolo's beers for them and they just blew up. They just blew up. They were everywhere. So I want to say a massive thank you to Hakan at this stage for sending me the beer. But what I like about Doug's is the fact that, yes, they might have blown up a little bit. They, they're a lot more popular now. You know, world-renowned beer. But they're still in the little bottles. The, 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 the little kind of... They've not changed their branding that much. You know, they, they must have had an identity back in the day. God, it must have been about nine years ago now. And they stuck with that identity. I like that. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. You know, there's that temptation, isn't it, to maybe put your beer in cans and change things up, change your brand in. But they've stuck with it. I like it. I like it. Look at this. Look at that. One more thing on the branding. It is February 2021 I'm reviewing this beer. And back in January last month, oh, there was uproar. There was uproar on Twitter because Anchor Brewing Company in America, very similar style bottles actually, um, not the bottle label, but the bottles. They decided after, I don't know, 25, 30 years to change their branding. <gasps> the internet went mad. The internet went mad when Anchor decided to change their branding. I, I can all, totally understand why. Because the branding's pretty poor. Pretty poor. The stuff they used to have, Anchor, was brilliant. And I think this is a lesson. I'm going to be quick because I'm already, I'm already nearly three minutes in. But let that be a lesson. Produce your fantastic beer. You don't really have to change much with your branding. Jet Black beer in the glass. Good levels of carbonation. 10% ABV. Looks good. Let's get the aroma. Thank you very much, Hakan. Hakan in Sweden for this beer. Thank you very much, mate. Smells like fudge. Toffee, biscuit, breadiness, fudge. It smells like a a toffee cheesecake or something. You know, with a biscuit on the bottom, the digestive biscuit on a cheesecake. Could also call it tiramisu. Coffee, coffee stout. Brilliant. Smells amazing. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ha 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 ha! Ho ho ho! Stone the crows! Stone the crows! What an amazing beer! Fudge all the way. Sticky toffee fudge. Do you know when you were a kid and you know you get sticky toffee or you know sweets all over your hand? You know you can't get away from it. it the the, the flavours. You know you're rubbing it all over your face because you're a kid. You know, it's like you can't get away from that beautiful fudge favour. It's like it's enveloped my whole palate. It's sticking to the inside of the mouth. It's sticking to the tongue. It's sticking to the throat. Brilliant beer. Good mouthfeel. Could be a little bit thicker. Could be a little bit thicker. For a 10% ABV Imperial Stout, I'm going to say it's a nice mouthfeel. 
but it's a little bit thin. And the reason I say that is the Swedish, the Norwegians, the Danes, they really know how to produce a big, thick, gloopy imperial stout. They know it's like it's in their DNA. They simply know, you know, as soon as they come out the womb, they know how to brew a, a big, sticky, thick imperial porter or stout. This looks... This looks a little bit thin, if you ask me. It's a little bit thin on the look. It's a little bit thin... Oh, I don't know. It is and it isn't. It is and it isn't. It, it is it's strangely kind of gloopy and thick, but at the same time it's slightly thin. Does that make sense? I think what it's lacking, it might be my particular bottle. It might be my particular bottle, but it might be head retention. It might be the head retention that's slightly making me think that it's slightly thin. I reckon if this was like rolling round in the glass with a great big head on it, that would be superb. Superb. Chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours coming through. Tiramisu, fudge, biscuit, digestive biscuit. Beautiful beer. Beautiful beer. Little bit of bitterness coming through on the back end with the hops. Carbonation pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. Good stuff. If you're... I'm just having a taste now thinking about just how there's a level of sweetness in here. If you're really adverse against sweet beer, you may not like this. This may be a little bit too sweet for your palate. If you like a sweet beer, this will be right up your street. I'm just feeling now, I've had a few tastes of this beer, I can feel the warming of the alcohol sliding down the throat into the pit of the stomach feel that kind of that that warming of the alcohol all the way down into the pit of the stomach i like that in a beer i like that in a strong beer we can feel it oh that's lovely it's a february night we're, we're reviewing this beer and it's nice to be warmed up from the inside out it's a cracking cracking beer let's see if there's any english on the back of this bottle oh yes there is um, Grand Series Imperial Stout, starting a grand journey, a journey towards the perfect stout, towards utopia, step by step, beer by beer, on and on, forever. A great canvas coloured with cocoa and vanilla for any and all fudgy needs. Chewy. Right, on your journey then, Dugs, I reckon all you need to do now to step up onto that top step of the podium is to just get a good head retention on the beer. If you can nail that, Dugs, if you can nail that with this beer or your next beer, massive head retention. You know that big tan coloured head you get with an Imperial Port or an Imperial Stout. I think you would absolutely be on the top step of the podium. But just now, I reckon it's a silver medal. A very good silver medal, just a slight tweak to get a little bit more mouthfeel out of the beer and a little bit more head retention. But other than that, it's brilliant. Thank you very much, Hawkan, Hakan, Hawkan, for sending me the beer. I like it enough to give it a stone the crows, 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 beer from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.